All right, before I get into this review, I want to give a quick shout out to all my fans that have been enjoying my review series of The Walking Dead. I mean, I, did, I probably should have reviewed The Walking Dead a long time ago. It was one of my favorite shows when I first started this channel. So maybe I should have done it then. And and I would have gotten that love. I would have gotten that love right now. But either way, I'm doing it now, and I really appreciate and enjoy the fact that you are loving my loving my review. So I decided to give a quick shout out to all of you. Anyway, let's get on to season four. So The Walking Dead season four is well, it's kind of a big step down when it comes to season three. Season three, for in my mind, is one of the best seasons of The Walking Dead. Not the best yet, but close to it. Season four was a big step down, mostly because this is kind of the moment in The Walking Dead where. They're no longer, they're no longer, um, they're no longer, you know, seeing the world crumble. They're no longer losing their humanity. They're no longer looking for a home to be. They're now just living in it. This is just, they've accepted the world that they are living in. And although that is interesting enough, you don't want it to get too boring. And the way this season goes, there is a lot of very exciting moments that happen. Like, for example, like, for example, Rick and the group are still at the prison. I mean, the governor has lost all of his credibility, and his entire town have moved into the prison, so now they have this little society going on, and Rick was able to calm down. He's no longer he's no longer the main leader of the group. So, so basically, it's just a living moment for them, and for a moment, it kind of looked like it would become, bore, become boring. It, you don't want a show like this to become boring. We have to keep reminding ourselves that this is the zombie apocalypse, and what happens in the beginning is that this disease outbreak happens in the prison. How scary do you think that would be, that a deadly disease is happening in your safe place, especially in the zombie apocalypse world, and in a zombie apocalypse world that it doesn't matter how you die, you come back, no matter what happens. <clears throat> So that was a whole lot of fun to watch, and I would say that it would be the second best part of this entire season. The best part of this season was when the governor finally comes back. It, this season wraps up the whole governor storyline, but it is wrapped up absolutely perfectly. I mean, you already know me. I'm a huge fan of the comic book series, and the way they wrap up the governor in the comic book series was exciting. It was fun. He just shows up with an army and a tank just to take down the entire prison. He doesn't, he doesn't take prisoners, so... To see that on screen was really exciting. As a matter of fact, some of the best episodes in this season were the ones where they focused on the governor. When he loses his town, he loses his friends, and now he is on his own. He finds this new group of people, and he acts like that so-called good guy that he used to he used to do back back in his town. But you know he's still that shady person, the bad the villain of the story that that we all know and love and it's and it's still there and he convinces this entire group of people to attack the prison because the prison well he calls them bad guys spoken like a true governor don't you think anyway when that episode happens it was perfectly exciting i mean there's a whole lot of enjoyable moments in in this in this episode there was even a moment where daryl is fighting a bunch of a bunch of people and a walker got like this close on the got that close right behind him and i remember the internet was just was just panicking when that happened so they were basically making memes about that and then we get and then after the prison falls we get to the second half of this season and that's where the problems of the walking dead start revealing its ugly head now does that mean the season is bad no no not by a long shot it's still a very good season but the problems that the walking dead will eventually get started with this season and well, let's just say when if you guys are watching the the Walking Dead like on Netflix or on any streaming service, you are lucky. You are really lucky because you could just go to the next episode right away. So there's that. But when the show was coming out, when I was watching it, I had to wait a long time to finally get to finally get answers because the problem that the show brings up is this loop storytelling. It's not the actors. The actors are still perfect in their roles. I mean, the storylines that they come up with are still pretty good, but they have this loop storytelling. Like for example, in one episode there's Rick and Carl, they have their problems and it ends and it ends in a moment where you want to see what happens next. But no, the next episode is about Daryl and Beth and their little storyline, and that ends in a cliffhanger. You want to see what happens next. Nope, next episode is about a new group of people. We had to wait several episodes, maybe over a month, just to find out what happened. And that was insane. That was insanely annoying. So those are that was the biggest issue when it comes to The Walking Dead. But doesn't mean that the second part of this season had some really good moments. Like, for example, there is a scene where 
Rick, Daryl, Carl, and Michonne get attacked by this group of by this group of people, and instead of and instead of negotiating, instead of shooting or fighting in the same way that they are used to, this is the moment where Rick finally snaps. I mean, Rick has been sitting on the line between good guy so he could be a good leader, but you can tell that he is slipping through the cracks of becoming a bad guy. This is the moment where he finally snaps. I mean, he straight up turns around and bites this guy's throat and just rips it out. It was a shocking moment, and The Walking Dead is known for its shocking moments, but this is the moment where I'm thinking to myself, okay, Rick, the Rick that I knew from season one, he's gone now. He is just straight up gone. And this is one thing about this is one thing about this world that this is what happens to you. I make a lot of comparisons to this show to Breaking Bad, but mostly because I enjoy I enjoy TV shows that have guy have people start out as good guys, then suddenly become bad guys. Man, I make that comparison a whole lot. Maybe I should start reviewing the start reviewing Breaking Bad. Whatever you guys think, comment them down below if you want me to review Breaking Bad. But anyway, I gotta say, Season 4 of The Walking Dead may be a step down from Season 3, but it doesn't change the fact that it's still a very good season. And the wrap-up of the Governor storyline was fantastic. And and for what the show is going to lead, lead us to, I'm, it's still very enjoyable. So I gotta say, The Walking Dead Season 4 is classic. So guys, The Walking Dead Season 4, have you seen it? What did you think of it? If you think my grade should have been higher, let me know. If you think my grade should have been lower... Let me know. Also, and I just brought this up, uh, if you want me to start reviewing the show Breaking Bad, comment that down below. Also, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next video.